HPE is collaborating with Verizon on the telco's 4G and 5G core virtualization project through its NFE director and VNF onboarding capabilities. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content at Telecom TV, and joining me now to explain more about the partnership is Kazi Ahmed, who is Director of Technology at Verizon. Hello Kazi, very good to see you. Thank you for joining us on the programme. Before we talk in detail about orchestration, can you tell us a little more about your role at Verizon? As you know, uh, Verizon's been an early pioneer in network function virtualization, uh, particularly particularly among the telecom operators. And uh, to that effect, uh, we are uh, on one hand deploying a uh, cloud infrastructure, our own private cloud infrastructure. And on the other hand, we work with the uh, network function vendors to ensure virtualization and uh, cloud transformation of their functions are happening um, at, at the right clip at the right way. Now you've deployed HPE orchestration solutions for your network. Could you elaborate on the scope of the project with HPE and its objectives? Yeah, so our cloud program has two components. A, a major component of that is uh, the network facing uh, network functions or infrastructure functions. Uh, HPE, we are focused on deployment of those network facing functions into our cloud. Um, we have a multi-vendor environment. Um, all of our network, starting from RAN, EPC, into IMS core is truly multi-vendor environment. Also, our cloud is multi-cloud. Um, we, are, we, are, we are deploying a standard-based orchestration uh, capability, uh, and HP tool fits into very nicely in that space for us. So tell us how you use the HPE products and what were your main requirements? We are using the HPE product across all of our line of business within the infrastructure domain. So wireline, wireless. Our primary focus is to deploy atomic VNFs, uh, but we are also interested in uh, uh, chaining them together and deploy network services. What we are trying to achieve with utilizing a uh, orchestrator is a common operating model, simplify um, our operation practices, scalability, reliability, and again, I've touched upon this before, but advanced lifecycle management. And what types of VNFs have you been able to deploy and, and what's the current status? Well, one thing I'm uh, very proud of is with this uh, HP tool, what we've been able to do is um, really cover a broad spectrum of these VNF types. So from starting from very simple uh, load balancers and uh, firewalls, we have done complex uh, EPC uh, network functions uh, consisting of hundreds of VMs. Uh, and we've also been able to do, it, do uh, VoIP uh, VNFs um, and again, um, the scale that we've been able to achieve through some of the RAN VNF as well, that's those deployments uh, uh, number into the thousands and growing very rapidly. So Kanji, to what extent has Verizon's network been orchestrated? Well, um, we have, a, as you know, we have a very large network and uh, we have a 4G and then there is a lot of 5G deployments going on. And we also have other legacy uh, elements in our network. So our orchestration journey began a uh, little bit after our virtualization journey. Uh, but at this point, we have achieved uh, nearly half of our uh, deployments are getting orchestrated. Uh, and that has been achieved across the whole spectrum of the network. So, and I mentioned this before, and I'd like to reiterate, we've done it in the RAN space in the EPC space, as well as in the IMS core space. Um, also, the cloud platform, we've got, uh, we've got several flavors of these cloud platform. Uh, one is a core, um, one is at the edge, and at the far edge. So what we've been able to achieve is across, uh, orchestrate across all three of these uh, platform with different technology and different um, flavor of things. So very extensive and it's, it's continuing to grow at a very healthy grip. So can you tell us what the current status of the project is? 
we've made significant progress. A very large portion of our uh, deployments, our virtualized deployments are going through uh, orchestration. And the progress has been made across the board um, um, of our network. So we have RAN elements that's been virtualized and orchestrated. We have EPC, we have IMS, and on the wireline spectrum, we also have um, the VoIP products that's been orchestrated and deployed. Um, back a few months ago, Verizon deployed the first ever virtualized RAN on a far edge uh, web scale platform. HPE was uh, part of that deployment. Um, and we are also right now focused on a lot of our 5GC elements and actively working to virtualize and orchestrate that uh, into our network. Very exciting. So Kazi, how would you describe the benefits of HPE's orchestration solution to your project? Yeah, um, there's a quite a bit of work involved to get um, something like orchestration streamlined and accepted across the business. So. Uh, we do this because we are seeing some tremendous benefit. I touched upon this earlier. A common operating model is essential for us because we are in truly multi-vendor environment and um, we have to abstract the experience of deploying, undeploying, and managing our network and all the complexity associated with every vendor needs to be abstracted. So that's one thing that the HPE product is providing us. Uh, the other is scale. Um, I mentioned VRAN deployment. There are thousands of deployments that have already happened, and we expect many, many thousands coming up. So you need a product that's, that's able to scale up and provide that repeat, repeatability and reliability. And that is the other benefit we see. And what are the main lessons that you've learned from this virtualization project? Yeah, um, I, I touched on some of the benefits, um, uh, but you have to be careful when you do this deployment. Uh, along the way, we have learned that standardization is key. Um, custom uh, uh, interface de development doesn't really scale, especially when we are talking about the kind of uh, deployments that we need to do. Uh, so, and when, you, when it comes to standard, uh, you have to facilitate that. Um, you have to have willing uh, vendors. So you need to ensure that your e ecosystem is mature and they are um, a willing partner and they will go along with that journey to uh, uh, ensure that the standards are robust. What we have done in that arena is facilitated uh, things like blood test where we brought other vendors in, uh, in our labs and uh, uh, let them demonstrate the interoperability. We've learned some lessons from there, and those uh, changes uh, were implemented in our product. So there are gaps in the standards or interpretation gaps that are being addressed on those plug fests. Uh, another important point I would say is uh, internal stakeholders. You need to ensure that you have buy-in from them because uh, with orchestration and virtualization, you are changing the existing business process. And you want to do that. You want to change your existing business process. But if your internal stakeholders are not completely aligned and bought in, that becomes a difficult journey. Kazi, thank you very much indeed for joining us on the program and sharing your views and experience. And don't forget to take a look at all of our interviews from Telecom TV Strategic Outlook on Open RAN and 5G, supported by our partners HPE and Intel. You can watch them all on demand from the Telecom TV website. For now, though, thank you for watching and goodbye.